I just recorded about two minutes or so I thought of me starting the intro to this video and it was so off topic. I literally said, oh my gosh, forget it. Let's just start over. And I went to stop recording and realized it wasn't recording anyway. So that worked out. Hey guys, it's Jessica. And today we're going to talk about an eyeshadow palette. I am really excited. I created on my own. Um, and you can too. <laughs> I found out that the brand Essence makes single shadows and they sell like empty palettes that you can customize yourself. And I thought, well, that sounds right up my alley because if you recall, a few months ago, I did a video about my perfect palette where I used Makeup Forever shadows and I went to Sephora, just kind of picked them out and bought them, but it is kind of a more expensive option. And so I was mentioning in that video, obviously there are a million affordable options to do this, to customize your own eyeshadow palette out there. So found this one, thought this would be fun. I haven't heard a ton about this. It's They've been out for a while. I think they sent this to me in PR a while ago and I think I donated it. And so then I'm at the store and I'm like, ooh, now with my different mindset, I'm like, well, now I want it. So I ended up buying them anyway. <laughs> so here we are. So I bought this eight pan empty palette. It was at a store near me called Meyer. I cannot find this empty eight pan palette online anywhere other than I think I saw it on eBay for like a ridiculous price. It should be around $5. They also sell on Ulta. I did find this and I'll link it below an empty four pan palette and it's $3 and 50 cents. So not bad, the packaging of this is nice, it snaps shut. Same thing goes for the four pan palette because I was playing with those at the store where I bought this. Now the single shadows, they are $1.99 each. That is so much cheaper than the Makeup Forever, it's crazy, $1.99 each. Kind of reminded me of the old school elf shadows, they used to sell single shadows for a dollar each. Oh, those were really good too, they don't do that anymore. So $1.99 each, I'm excited to obviously do this on my eyes today, use some of these shadows. I've swatched them all and I was pretty impressed. Uh, so I actually have eight here and then I have two more shadows. So there are 15 color options total. And again, these are sold on Ulta's website too. There are 15 colors total. I actually have nine of them. And then one, the 10th one I have is actually a bronzing powder. Um, but it makes for a great eyeshadow. So you'll see why. So let me show you some swatches of this so that you can kind of get an idea of the shades, what they look like, what the kind of formula looks like. So the top row of my palette has four different shimmers that I picked out. And so these shades are from the bottom to the top here in these close-ups. So the bottom shade is number five, Cotton Candy. The next shade up is number one, Go Goldie. The next shade is number two, All I Need. And then that peachy shade is called number eight, Peach Party. And then from there, my bottom row of my actual palette is all matte. That's just the way I decided to do it. And so these next four shades from bottom to top are number nine, Chili Vanilli. Number one, Hello Sunshine. Now this is actually not an eyeshadow formula. This is technically their bronzing powder, but I mean, come on, that is gonna make a great transition shade because they didn't really seem to have many matte transition shades, if any. So the next one's number seven, Mauvey Time. And then that dark brown matte is called number four, Brownie Licious. So I feel like the formula was pretty nice. The matte swatched a little easier than the shimmers. With these shimmers, I ended up doing like a second coat to finish the tail to make it so you guys could actually see the color. But I do think they're nice, especially for $1.99 each. We're gonna see how they perform with brushes, with my fingers, etc. I'm very curious. Now the other two shades I happen to have, but they didn't fit in my palette, are the shade number three, Miss Foxy Roxy, which is this beautiful kind of satiny shimmer bronze. And then I also have number 19, Steal the Show, which is a satiny shimmery kind of a grayish color. This shade Peach Party, I did end up having to repress. I got it and it was shattered by the time I got home and I'm like, dang it. So I repressed it with alcohol and honestly, I don't think it's the same. It didn't swatch anywhere near the same way that any of the other shadows did. And so I don't wanna chalk that up to that shade being bad because I think it's because I had to repress it. So I really like the actual shade though. So I might end up buying it anyway because it's $1.99 and it's a shadow that, yeah, it doesn't swatch anywhere near as nicely as the others. It's a shadow that is a shade I would actually wear a lot, especially on its own. So I think I am gonna repurchase that one. I'm trying to decide what I wanna do. I know I'm gonna, I've already put an eye primer on my eyes. I use the Smashbox Lid Primer. I have a couple drugstore favorite eye primers. That's just the one I grabbed today. Um, but I wanted one that had a little bit more of a white base to make these colors pop to really see what they look like. Um, so I'm gonna grab just this beige color, Chili Vanilli, and start up at my brow bone. This should be matte. It looks like it is but that looks really nice. It's got a little bit of color to it. Um, wow. So that one I like, it's got enough pigmentation 
to do what I want it to do, which is brighten that area just a little bit and cover up a little bit of veining. I'm gonna try, before I do a shimmer or anything, I'm gonna try, this is technically a bronzing powder, um, but honestly, it was pretty much the same consistency as the eyeshadows. I'm just gonna put that in there. That looks really nice. I feel like it looks a little bit splotchy. Let's try a little bit more. Again, this is technically a bronzer. <laughs> Although I guess as a bronzer, it shouldn't look splotchy either, so judging it either way. Um, I'm such a stinker about bronzer though, because if it's this tiny, I'm like, no. I need a, I need a normal sized pan for bronzer and blush. I hate that, so that's not something I would pick up for that reason, but if you needed one, this it's super orange, but boy, this is looking really nice as an eyeshadow in the end. I try to keep a level head when I'm excited about something that is less expensive. Because I don't want to just say I love something just because I'm like, well, it's so good for the price. And I've mentioned this a lot, but it's been on my mind a lot. I don't want to say, oh, it's really good for the price. I want to say it's actually just really good across the board, period. Not just because it's cheap, but even if I put this up against, you know, an expensive palette or like those Makeup Forever shadows, even put up against that, this is better or this is really good. You know what I'm saying? It's just been weighing on my heart lately. That actually worked really, really well for what I wanted it to do. Again, just kind of a buffer zone between what we're gonna do today. So I wanna try, I think I'm gonna use this really pretty like icy color cotton candy in my inner corner. But on the lid, I wanna try this gold color. It's called Go Goldie. Wow, that's more pigmented than I would have guessed just applying it with my finger. It's kind of an icy gold, but it's really pretty. And it's going on like evenly, it doesn't look splotchy. I kind of expected this, this shadow in particular to not go on as evenly. I thought it would kind of catch in weird spots, things like that, but it's not. So before I throw anything else in, I want to try this color called All I Need. This one really spoke to me. It kind of looks like a bronzy shade, but almost with like a green shift to it. So I wanted to tap that on the outer half of my lid. Oh yeah. It's just, it's so slight, but it's so pretty. I could see this being one of my favorite shades, like just kind of throwing this all over the lid and blending it into the crease. That's like what I do all of the time. I need to blend it a little bit. It's funny, I was looking at the reviews on Ulta's website and one person wrote, all I need is a terrible shade or something like that. And so I'm like, oh, so then I swatch it and I'm like, is it? So I wonder if there's inconsistencies with this or I don't know. I don't know, maybe there is, but that went beautifully. So let me wipe this brush off. So I wanna use one of these deeper shades in the outer corner, maybe this matte. I don't feel like it's moving and blending a ton. And I feel like if I keep blending, it's gonna blend away. It's just okay. Let me try putting a little bit more on with this fluffier brush. So kind of pulling that color up through the crease a bit more. Actually, it blends okay. I don't think it's the best blending eyeshadow I've ever used but it blends fine that I don't feel like it's like, oh my gosh, this is awful, but it's certainly, that's not my favorite shade. Um, but it does have some nice pigment to it. So like if you wanted to line the, um, your eyes with this, I think it would work just fine. Let me throw a little bit of this darker color on the lower lash line. Yeah, it works just fine that way. So I'm gonna grab a little bit more of that kind of bronzy shade to kind of blend things a little bit better. I'm gonna take more of this All I Need shade and kind of, I feel like that white is super, or well, it's technically a gold, is super icy, so just to kind of tone it down a tinge. This almost come up, comes across as like a greenish, greenish goldish gray on the lids. I, but I'm like, this is, I think this is my favorite shade. I just really like it. So I think that looks really nice. <laughs> No complaints, let me go ahead and tight line my eyes and throw some mascara on and let's chat. Okay, so makeup is done and I ended up, by the way, if you're curious, I grabbed an Essence mascara. It's actually one of my favorite mascaras ever. It's their Essence Lash Princess, the one in the green tube. I just cracked it open if you saw my um, makeup that I own backups of that I love so much I have backups. This was in there so I just opened that drawer and popped it open. Um, but I can link that video if you're interested in what makeup I love enough to have a backup of of on. I don't even know what I just <laughs> so many prepositions, so little time. My final verdict on this is I think this is a steal for your money. Is this my favorite eyeshadow I've ever used in my life? No. But do I think it is really good and on par with high-end palettes that I've used? Yeah. There are high-end palettes out there, you guys, that are so 
not worth the money. If you want to see videos of like palettes I've decluttered and things I'm just, I didn't like over the years, I can link that down below because there have been a lot of expensive makeup items that I just, they're such a waste of money and people buy them for the name brand or whatever. Anyway, I'm, I gotta, I gotta stop derailing myself. I think this is a good deal and they are really nice shadows. I really like the complete look. This is totally a Jessie look. Like this is what I like to do on my eyes, this exact thing. So that's why I love doing these kinds of custom palettes for myself because I'm looking at it and I'm like, these are all shadows I would use on an everyday basis. I hope they come out with more options. I think that would be so cool, but honestly, 15 options is not bad. I do feel like there are some holes. There's not a ton of colorful shadows. So if you're into that, I don't think you'll find all that you love there. But if you're a neutrals person, you will definitely find a lot of what you need. But like I said, I do think they're missing kind of those medium matte kinds of shadows that a lot of people like, like I do, to kind of blend things together, which is why I grabbed that bronzing powder. You know, if you think about it, if you buy the four pan palette online, that's 350, and then you buy four shadows to fill it, that's what? Two times four, eight plus 350. You're spending $11.50 on a palette of four shadows that you know you're going to use that I think is nice quality. So I hope that was good enough explanations as to how I feel about this. It's so tricky because eyeshadow, so many people do eyeshadow well. You know what I mean? It's there's there's not a lot of revolutionary, you know, formulas suddenly coming out in eyeshadow that are so much better than the last. You can buy so many amazing shadows at the drugstore. That's the reality. I really like the Milani palettes. If you like pre-made palettes, the Milani ones I think are nice. The CoverGirl and Rimmel ones are nice, but they have a very similar formula where the shadow is very, very thin. So I can't explain it other than that. And so with some of the shades and some of their palettes, I find them a little bit more difficult to blend because I feel like they'll stick in a certain area because of that thin formula. But this one feels a little bit more similar to the Milani ones. I think the Milani shimmers are better though. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this was helpful as you guys are looking for the best makeup that's out there and I'm trying to help in that pursuit. Um, I hope that you'll come say hi to me on social media. It's GM Beauty 89 everywhere. I love interacting with you guys over there. And other than that, I hope you'll subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.